10 useful glitches and exploits in Fallout New Vegas. You can stack the skill trait, which will add 10 points to all your skills, plus another 5 once you get to the auto dock in the Old World Blues DLC. When creating your character in the beginning of the game, select the skill trait together with whatever other trait you want. This will give you plus 5 points to all your skills. Then start walking away from Good Springs until you get the pop-up to revise your character and click rebuild. When rebuilding, again pick the skill trait. This will add 10 points to your every skill skill. Alright, just try to relax. This won't hurt. Once you get to the Sinks Auto Dock in the Old World Blues DLC and install the Auto Docks module, you will have the ability to reselect your traits again, which will add another 5 points to all your skills, and the negative 10% experience penalty will not stack. There's a way to duplicate items in the game. The way this works is, first you must go to your gameplay settings and switch on the hardcore mode. Then find a container in which you have the item you want to duplicate. It's important to remember that this will only work when you first open the container, and you can only duplicate items that are already found in there. Now if I want to duplicate a stim pack found in this container, I must remove everything else out of it, then place in my 200 10mm rounds of ammo, 200 because I want 200 stim packs. It can be anything you want as long as the item's weight that you placed in exceeds 6 and appears above the item you want to duplicate. Then left click on the item you placed in and immediately after press the A button. If you do it right, a pop-up message will appear asking you how many items you want to take and by pressing OK you will receive 200 stim packs instead of just one. Afterwards you can go into the settings again and disable hardcore mode. A free weapons repair glitch exists in the game, with which you can also get large amounts of caps. This glitch will work with most vendors, especially ones selling armor and weapons. The first thing you need to do is check if you have the same weapon as the vendor, in my case the varmint rifle, and also make sure that you only have one in your inventory. The vendor should only have one as well, otherwise this glitch will not work. Then make sure your weapon's condition is low. Now if I sell my varmint rifle for 7 caps, the vendor will sell it back to me for a slight higher price. But get this, if you purchase that same varmint rifle back, it will be fully repaired and you can sell it again to the vendor for an even higher price. And looking at it in his inventory, it appears as it was when you first sold it, in that same low condition, at the same price as before. But when you buy it back from him, it's restored to full condition. This is the glitch. You can basically keep selling it and buying it back until the vendor has no money left and you walk away with a fully repaired weapon. There's a movement glitch called reload dashing, widely used in the speedrunning community. First, you must obtain the 357 Magnum revolver and at least two different ammo types for it. In my case, I'll be using the 357 Magnum rounds and the .38 special rounds. You can get all of this from Chet in Good Springs General Store. Next, you must hotkey the revolver and make sure you know which key to press to change your ammo type. On PC, it's the number 2 key. Now, by holding down the forward movement key, W for PC, Press the key to change the ammo. Once it starts changing it, press the button that brings up the pit boy and wait for it to pop up. Keep holding down W the whole time. Once you're in your pit boy, unequip the revolver and close it. This will launch you forward. Often when using this glitch, you'll find yourself flying in the air. This is where the quick saving comes in. Just before you reach the ground, you quick save and then quick load. This will minimize or completely remove the fall damage you would otherwise sustain. It takes some practice to travel this way, but it's pretty fun once you get it. There's a caps glitch that you can use to gain millions in a matter of minutes. The only requirement is that you already have 35,000 caps. What you need to do is go to one of the casinos on the strip and exchange your 35,000 caps for chips, then drop them on the floor. It should show that there are minus 30,536 chips, which means that they are basically bugged now. Pick them up and start exchanging them back for caps. You can keep requesting the cashier to exchange them unlimited amount of times until you feel like you have enough. In the Forbidden Zone Dome, in the Old World Blues DLC, you will have to defeat the X-42 Giant Robo Scorpion. If you have the Robotics Expert perk, you can sneak up behind it and deactivate it, which will give you 10 experience points. But unlike other robots, the Robo Scorpion keeps regaining function, which allows you to keep deactivating it endlessly and earning unlimited amount of experience points. 
there's a glitch that you can use to obtain multiple companions that will follow you around at the same time. First, you must recruit Veronica and take her to Camp McCarran, Vault 3 and Cottonwood Cove, which will make Veronica initiate a conversation with you. By choosing the option Not Now, the glitch will become activated. From there, go to any humanoid companion you want in your group. While standing close by, ask Veronica about the conversation she wanted to discuss earlier. The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart. She will ask you to take her back to the Brotherhood. This is where you have to select the dialogue option. Why don't you just go back on your own? This will make Veronica leave your group and start walking to Hidden Valley. But if you quickly recruit your other companion, in my case Arcade, and then talk to Veronica again by selecting the exact same dialogue options as before and talk to her one more time, you will have the ability to recruit her back. This will allow you to have both companions and this exploit can be repeated multiple times. Times. You can gain unlimited amount of experience points in Good Springs. To do this, you must have 25 speech and 25 barter. After the initial tutorial with Sunny Smiles, go talk to Joe Cobb and offer him to kill Ringo. After doing so, go back and tell him that it's done. This will activate the glitch. Finish the conversation and then kill Cobb and his crew. Then go to Good Springs General Store and talk to Chet, where you can convince him to donate supplies to the Powder Gangers. All right. I can give you some of my extra leather armor and spare ammo. Just don't hurt anybody if you don't have to, alright? This dialogue option can be infinitely repeated and will give you 25 experience points, as well as 9mm ammo and leather armor each time. There's a way to freeze time and walk around. If you go to your pit boy and open up the world map by closing and quickly opening your pit boy while rapidly tapping the button to place a marker will make the prompt appear while your pit boy is closed. This will freeze the world in place while allowing you to walk around. Make sure to also unbind the right click on your mouse if you're trying this on a computer. You can wear certain hats and headwear together with the Elite Riot Gear helmet at the same time, causing the two items to both give their benefits to you. This exploit works with the Centurion helmet, First Recon Beret, Daniel's hat, Legion Explorer hood, and others. The Elite Riot Gear helmet can be found at the 3rd Street Municipality building in the Lonesome Road DLC.